welcome back. I hope you're all doing okay. I am doing a recreation set today. So the lovely, amazing nail artist, Taryn's Nails. Um, she posted this. I don't think it's from this year. Um, but it's absolutely stunning and I really, really wanted to give it a go because you know how like most autumnal nail designs are always like got the oranges and the browns and the reds. This is blue and pink and I love it. So I'm using Union Blue on the thumb and the middle finger from Madame Glam. Don't forget you can save 30% using my code LITTLENAILRING30. I'm also a Madame Glam affiliate now, so excited. So there'll be a link in the description box down below um, for everything that I've used and discount codes for everything that you can think of in this video, plus other places as well. Executive Flame is gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It's like one of those muted dusty pinks perfect for autumn love it that is going on the ring and the pinky and then i wanted a white but not like a stark white so i use cotton tail and i think that works really really well i finally managed to order bold white as well i've been checking the website like every couple of days for about a month now um, and it's always been out of stock but i finally placed my order last week and i have my Madame Glam advent calendar sitting next to me as well. I'm so excited to use that. So I've taken some of the cotton tail and mixed a little bit of base coat in with it on a palette. And then, because it's kind of like a little bit translucent, we want to make it a little bit sheer. So using a, don't know the thickness of this brush, but it's not a liner brush. I reckon it's like a, a seven mil, maybe a nine mil looking at it now i don't know um but it's a little bit wide it creates the wider lines so i want that and i want it to be a little bit sheer so i've done the vertical lines first give that a cure and then i'll go in with the horizontal lines still using the same mixture that we've made the base coat and the cotton tail yeah i don't know because the brush that i'm using is part of like um a set five off of sheen so i have no idea not a clue. They do list like the sizes, the lengths, but not the thickness. Um, but if you've got a brush that does semi-thick lines, just use that. And then once those lines are cured, I'm going straight back in with just pure cotton tail, um, straight from the bottle. Don't mix it with any base coat. And then with my favourite brush, I say every single time, my favourite ever brush, it was like 30 pence or something, as a pack of three from Sheen for a pound and I have loved it ever since. I gave it a little haircut and it is my go-to brush. I'm just going to outline all of those bits and now it kind of looks like gingham, like the checkered picnic blanket and I love it. It's so, so cute. So get those all outlined. Um, you don't need, if you can see, I didn't really try, uh, what's it called? Like, mix too much base coat in with the cotton tail first you can still pretty opaque but just just on the sheer side so that one is all done it's not having anything else to it on the middle finger the blue nail i've grabbed the stamping plate from moyu london i'm just going to use they've got uh, leafy patterns i think i used this last week i'm not sure i know i've used it before um, we're going to take two of the leaf shapes, but the solid part of the stamper. I'm going to do three of each of those two leafy shapes. Do them all in white. And when I say three, like two full ones, and then the third one is actually going to be like two parts. Do you see what I mean? Like I've used half of it to stamp over here and then the other half to stamp over there. Um, and I'm going to do the same using that tiny little one at the bottom. Don't question me on leaf names. I have no idea. I know what an oak leaf is, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> not a clue. But we are going to do the exact same thing with this smaller leaf shape. So we'll do two full ones. And then with the third stamp, half of it's going to be on the nail somewhere and then the other half can be stamped elsewhere on the nail and then once we've got all of those uh, leaf stamps on there 
I used white because I haven't got an off-white stamping polish and I haven't got a pinky red polish that matches the executive flame colour that we've used. So if I use the white stamping polish, then that acts as a base for me to go back over. So I'm going to go over it with, you know, the oaky tree kind of shape ones. They're going to have cotton tail all over it. So I'll just show you painting over the one. And then we'll use the executive flame to go over the smaller leaf shapes. And it doesn't matter if you can't get really close up to the outside line of the leaf shapes. You'll see in a second, like you can see the white line around it a little bit. And at first I was trying to get all the way to the edge and then I was like, hang on a minute, it's fine. Because on this stamping plate, we're going to use the, the, the detailed part because it's a layered stamper. So I'm going to use black stamp plate, uh, stamping polish. This one's from Moyu London. I've had to switch because I've run out of Born Pretty's black. Um, so all of the pinky red leaves are going to have the black outline. And then on Taryn's Nails picture of this set, um, the off-white leaves have like, like a really pale grey-ish beige colour outline um so the only thing that i could think of doing at this point was to mix a bit of white and black stamping polish together and i thought well if i mix them together and then apply that to the stamping plate it might dry too quickly so i thought if i put them you know how like we would ombre if i just put black on top of white and then swipe 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 it'll give it a little mix and hopefully it will blend and it did it worked quite well the only difference is that sometimes i added a bit more white to some than i did to the others so some of them are paler some of them are darker but i'm not splitting hairs i don't mind that one messed up so we quickly got rid of that one and tried again see mistakes do happen it's not it's not just you it happens to everyone everyone struggles with stamping sometimes and because these are stamping um the stamping polishes are just like basic nail polish nail varnish they are air drying so no need to cure in the lamp i have brought born pretty's gel polish stamping polishes but i'm so scared i tried it like once or twice in one go and i was like nope can't do it and i put them back in the drawer but i do really want to get them back out again and have another little try Someone did mention to me that they are, if I'm not going to use them for stamping, they are actually quite good for like nail art gels. So if I don't manage to crack the hack of stamping with gel polishes, then I'll just use them for art gels. Oh, we're on the last nail. So this is the index finger. Uh, using executive flame, we're going to create a little wonky pumpkin. So it's kind of on its side a little tiny bit. The original that Taryn's nails did, the pumpkins all around the cuticle area, but I didn't want to do that. Like I'll show you the picture now. So you can see that the the way she's held her nails, the pumpkins are near the cuticle area. But I thought for me, how I look at my nails and how I want to picture my nails, um, I'm going to be taking pictures of them and then the pumpkins will be upside down. So I thought I'll just put them near the, the free edge. It's not as good as Taryn's, obviously. She's the original and she is amazing. But hopefully I've pulled them off and I've given them a decent recreation. So we've done the executive flame pink one at the bottom. On the right is the union blue and on the left I've used Milky Way from Madame Glam. And then I'm going to outline in Born Pretty's Pro Painting Gel. Don't forget you can save 10% at Born Pretty as well using my code TLNR10. Discount codes, codes will pop up on the screen now and again as I'm using them throughout the video. But if you've missed them, they will be in the description box along with a list of everything that I have used in this video, plus other discount codes. Some of them will be affiliate links. Um, I don't know which ones. Cannot remember. No idea why I'm talking so fast now. Uh, but once these are all outlined... Um, so I do the two, the pink and the blue, in black and then I mix 
a grey colour using the Pro Painting Gel PN01 and PN02, both from Born Pretty, the white and the black to make a grey, just like we did for the leaves on the middle nail has a great outline so I did the same to the little pumpkin and then grabbing a dotting tool and I'm just going to do little clusters of three dots all over the leafy nail and then at the pumpkin nail a little bit different I want to, I went to do the three clusters and then I felt like it needed a little bit extra so we did like a cluster of five and a cluster of six here there and everywhere so I am going to matte top coat them um they will look gorgeous glossy but when it comes to autumnal nails for me personally they have to be matte cannot wear them when they are matte they just feel gross um but i love the look of a matte nail especially if it's autumnal and we are done absolutely love this design i think she smashed it with this design and hopefully i've been able to pull it off maybe hopefully absolutely love the way the plaid nail is done i will definitely be doing that in the future i think it is gorgeous and i'm so glad i got to use union blue and executive flame again because i've been staring at them for weeks and i've wanted to pick them up and i'm so glad i saw this design and decided to recreate it let me know what you think in the comment section down below and if you haven't already please do consider subscribing i'd love to get to 3000 before the end of the year that would be great thanks for watching guys bye Oh, 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 oh,